Hi, this is Joe again with another review. For a second, this video we're going to be discussing the 1955 film, Tarantula. And of course, this movie is one of the stereotypical B-horror films from the 1950s about a giant monster that's attacking people. Uh, either in a rural area or in this case in the, in the middle of the desert. Of course, this, uh, because usually they have all kinds of animals. I have been reviewing a lot of these movies lately where, where the animal in question is the. Uh, I reviewed Night of the Leopards, which was about giant killer rabbits. I reviewed uh, them, which was about like, giant ants. And of course, this one is about a giant tarantula. And that spider. For those who don't know what a tarantula is, it's just a giant black spider. One of the deadliest spiders in the, in the world, other than possibly with possible exception of the Black Widow. And of course, this movie is like a, is a typical science, scientist go, go monk, or at least one of his creatures goes a monk, and somebody uh, tries to stop him. In this case, there's a regular cu regular country doctor who tries to stop, uh, figures out the you know what the monster is, and stops it. Well, basically it's the story of a doctor who, who, a small town doctor who knows about this particular scientist and the scientist does experiments in, out of his own house and two of his uh, you know, assistants tested the serum on, them, on themselves this uh, uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of like a uh, like a hormones on steroids or something. This hormone, this hormone extract, and it makes things grow bigger. Particularly animals who want to experiment, or the scientists want to experiment on, so that way people who are starving could eat off these particular animals, you know, like cows and stuff. Uh, so, so these animals grow about like maybe ten to a hundred times the size, the normal size. And almost like almost like giant monsters, and you know, most of them are, are harmless, but one particular one particular uh, assistant who did tends his drug on himself goes and attacks the scientist, burns down the lab. When the scientist later on became, well, I'm going to tell you in a minute, what was the scientist? And while the assistant and the scientist were fighting. The, the, this tarantula was already was bit was maybe about four or five times the size of Ray at that point. Breaks out, gets out, because his his cage was, was broken during the fight. Gets out and starts running around in the desert and finding, you know, and actually killing people who, who live out in the desert. Well, that's going on. The local doctor figured out what was going on. That that I think this scientist is, is experimenting on, on these two people. Well, not directly, but indirectly, as we found out. And then, of course, the science, the assistant that was being up this uh, scientist gave the guy gave the scientist an injection of the of that of this particular hormone extract. And now the the scientist turned out to be like a mutant guy. You know, he he got figured his his hair was a bit. The rest of his body didn't get bigger because his head gets, his face gets deformed throughout the course of the movie. And of course, he eventually uh, dies. Spoiler. But then, of course, the, doc the local doctor finds out, you know, find, finds, finds this, this, this tarantula lying around. So, what happens is, of course, they found, they do eventually stop, stop it by using napalm. Yes, about 10 years before the Vietnam War really gets into high gear, they used napalm to kill this t giant tarantula. And it's, and it's just before he gets into the small town where the doctor works and lives in. So, so they stop the spider at the end of the movie, and of course, oh, everyone is okay. Uh, at least the remaining cast members are okay. So this is... This, like I said, it's another one of stereotypical movies for the 1950s, which, I, which I've done a, a bunch of these reviews on. 
Uh, and Tarantula, I first saw that movie a few years ago on Channel 11 uh, here in New York City, WPIX, because they brought back for the 60th anniversary of Channel 11, and that time, in 2008, they brought back a feature, uh, excuse, excuse the rhyme here, they, they used to have a feature called Cre Cre um, Chiller Theater. And they, just saw, and they would show these types of movies, and they brought back the original host, who I think since died since then, um, and, they sh and the movie they showed was Tarantula. And so I saw it then, I just never did a review on it until now, and I recently just rewatched this movie, because Sven Gulli, who still shows these type of movies, uh, just showed it the other night, and so, and so I'm reviewing it now. And I guess there's another one that's still typical, B horror movies from the 1950s with a giant creature is just killing people. And it's usually like a giant, like I said, a giant. And you had giant ants, you had giant, uh, giant rabbits. But when the time they did Dying the Leopards with a previous review, that that genre was pretty much dead by then. The movie came out in 1972, so the movie was pretty much dead by then. But they made giant rabbits. Uh, this one came right in the height of the 1950s atomic bomb, create mad scientist thing that expand or makes an animal bigger. And this was just another one. I think, I think the tarantula is one of the better ones because it came out right in the height of it and of, of that genre. And I mean, it's, it's not a bad movie, but, but again, if you see so many other movies that I have reviewed on my YouTube channel here, and you happen to see this one, they go, oh god, it's another one again. I mean, it's, uh, we've seen it. how many times have we seen stuff like this? And unfortunately, that's what, you know, the people, people will react if you see the, my other reviews first. But, but I actually like to match them because it's a giant spider that got bigger. It's not an automatic big creature, really, like, uh, like Godzilla or something. And, and it came in the height of, the, of those movies as well. So, so it's like, you know, you, you know, people get tired of watching these type of movies. But I think Tomatula is one of the better ones because everybody everybody in this movie is smart. That, that's, the, that's the thing about this movie compared to the other ones. Where they, when they say, oh, there's a, oh, there's a bunch of giant rabbits going around. Or there's a gi giant ants. Or giant lizards or, what, or whatever. Usually, most people won't believe it until when, when they physically see the creature attacking. This time, everybody saw what the creature was. Now, by, by the time the movie is, everybody saw, everybody saw what the creature was, and they all came, and came together and fight. They, they, nobody told a BS story, story that nobody believes. You know, kind of like in the movie The Blob. I said, I said nobody, nobody believes that this blob creature was running around killing people and getting, getting bigger. Well, in the case of, you know, to answer that, the creature was getting bigger and bigger and bigger because it was injected with that hormone. and when it stopped growing. And, and uh, that's what, I can't believe it's been over eight minutes, eight, minute, eight, eight and a half minutes talking about this movie. But this, but this movie is, is not as bad as some of the other ones because like I said, I said, everybody in this movie is smart. So that's my review of the movie Tomatula. Please click on the video, please rate it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. Uh, you can f watch all my videos on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com, so WDY, and at C.com, that's a homepage in Rally Reviewer, Christine Moore, and please check out all my all his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.